Hello and welcome to another Real English Conversation with myself, Adam Novice, and Liz Wade. Liz? Hello, Liz. Yes, I was going to say my own name, but oh, it's all good. Well, it's always good to have someone else's, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Someone else's, say your name. Let me yeah, start that over. Exactly. That's uh, so great. Well, and uh, this is how you know that this is not scripted at all. We are having a real conversation. A real conversation. Yeah, we turn on we turn on Skype and we have this conversation. So exactly. So today we're talking about the program Sports and Steroids. I think I've got that name right. Or it's Steroids and Sports. No, it's Sports and Steroids. I got it. Right. Which um, sometimes I think is a is a program uh, that that maybe doesn't apply, but it always applies. I feel like we always have uh, <laughs> yeah. issues with sports or with steroids in sports. Yeah, people are always looking for uh, ways to get an advantage, which is really what this program is all about. It's about the different ways that athletes, professional athletes, amateur athletes, um, use steroids to get an advantage, to get better in sports. The program goes through some quite famous athletes who were caught using steroids and were penalized, um, some who apologized, and it even touches on why people might use steroids and the risks versus the benefits. It's a very interesting topic. Yeah, well, I will admit, um, I don't watch a lot of sports, but I think you do, Adam. You're uh, very involved in this uh, this sort of thing. Not steroids, but sports. <laughs> <laughs> um, but before we get into that, I do want to say um, some of uh, our listeners are listening on um, on our podcast and some are watching on YouTube. And I just wanted to, first of all, say thank you to our YouTube members. Uh, we do have memberships on YouTube. So if you join as a member of the Spotlight English channel, you do get some extra perks. So those are like extra things that you can take advantage of. Um, the first level is just some uh, badges and emojis, but also we thank you by name in every program. There's a special uh, end card that comes up with your name on it. Um, and then as the levels rise, you get more perks. So you get everything from the first level and then uh, you get a PDF of any script that you want one a month at our advanced level and access to uh, exclusive members only videos. At the next level up, you get uh, a personal video shout out from us. You can actually pick uh, probably whoever you want on the Spotlight English team to give you a shout out. Oh, uh, I think they're all going to pick me. <laughs> yeah, maybe you'll all pick Adam. Yeah. Um, that should be but the then, ultimate. Like you, you can get Liz at ten dollars, but at a hundred dollars, Adam will say your name. And you get Adam. <laughs> um, but uh, and then there's a t there's a top level as well where you can get as many as five PDF scripts of any programs a month, and also the special video shout out, access to exclusive members only videos and also uh, access to our uh, Facebook group where Adam and I will be talking with people. Yeah, so it, I did a lot want of fun. to tell you about our memberships and a special shout out to our three first members just this week. If you are watching on YouTube, you can go right under this video and there's a little join button and you can click right there to find out more. Uh, and while you're looking at that, if you haven't subscribed yet on YouTube, please just hit that subscribe button uh, and the little bell so that you never miss one of our videos. We have had a really busy week of videos and that is always really fun. Um, and be sure to check out this program, Sports and Steroids, uh, that we are talking about in this conversation. And so we're back. <laughs> to this conversation now. <laughs> Which is, you did a wonderful segue. I've, if only in life we could go. <laughs> I know, right? It was so fancy. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. So you did a great job with that. And, but I want to talk about steroids because I have been thinking, I have thought probably more than you about steroids. 
So I, yeah, steroids are obviously in the program. We talk about that the the medicine steroids does a lot of different things. Um, right. So you might be prescribed uh, steroids by a doctor because you need them for. I don't know, some part of your body. Right. And right. those that kind of um, maybe you have an autoimmune or you have some kind of uh, reaction, usually they calm your, your body's natural reaction. We're not, those are not going to give you make you super muscular and super right. um, strong. Yeah, that's a medicine that your body needs. Yes. And so what we're talking about is not having doctors for medical reasons to improve your health, but to give you an advantage either in sports or recovery or muscle growth. And most sporting associations uh, have say that you cannot use them. Like they are illegal for those right. those purposes. I uh, think um, if you don't mind, Adam, like I think that's a really interesting thing. Um, I guess maybe we'll talk about that a little later, but like, um, yeah, it, the reason is that it just makes it not as amazing when you do amazing things or yeah why do you think that is why do you think uh well they said like you shouldn't you shouldn't use steroids uh when you play football or whatever i think there is something in sports which is um fair play which means that the result of your of your practices and your hard work and mm -hmm. you have to practice hard and work hard and put in the put in the time and that results in either a win or a loss or a good time on a particular event and i think there's something about taking something that um gives you an advantage that doesn't that doesn't right. do that now it gets really interesting because, of course, there are a lot of things that give you an advantage that aren't available to everyone. Certain right. sports, you have to have equipment that maybe you can't afford. Um, right. There are, if you live in at a mountain, you get your body adapts to doing oxygen and they have special devices that people can use for that. So there is a lot of... Yeah. Um, it's not just what you put in your body, but it's kind of what else is available to you. Some of the technology there a few years ago, certain swimsuits and swimming events were, they said they give people, they made them too fast. Really? Yeah. So, so it's they like out the material of the swimsuit. Yes. Is, uh, it, it, gl it glowed, it glided through the water too, huh. too, too fast. So they weren't allowed to use that. Correct. They were used for a few years and then they were not allowed. Huh. So why wouldn't they just say that um, anybody can wear this? Is it just that it was very expensive or that people couldn't access it? Well, I'm I'm not entirely sure, but I think with with some of that, it was well, all the world records were set without this. Now, oh. all of a sudden, a new technology comes and everybody uses it and everybody just gets faster. So right. how do you compare? The same thing is true with running shoes. You could, yeah. certain shoes are illegal because they basically really? have, yeah, they basically uh, return a certain amount of energy beyond what's normal. So if you have... Basically, think of having springs in your shoes, like almost like a cartoon, mm -hmm. like like you're jumping along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was a there's a the two hour marathon. There was a very controversial point of whether those shoes returned enough of the energy or not. See, huh. it's it's a super complicated thing. Well, okay, so we're skipping ahead a little bit because, uh, and that's my fault, my bad. <laughs> Uh, but that actually, we talk about that a little bit at the end of this program, after we have talked about, um, examples of people and steroid use, um, there is an expert, a doctor or a sports expert or somebody who basically says, um, you know, football players are wearing these special jerseys that, mm -hmm. you know, reduce wind friction or something. How is that any different than steroids? And so you're uh, you're kind of making the point that uh, they are the same. I right? I do think that um, they are the same in one way. 
Yeah. And another way is the long-term health benefits can it, it can have side effects. That's so, a very good point. Wearing a different pair of shoes uh, might make your your feet hurt or whatever, but they're not going to have long-term side effects to right. your health or But yeah. playing professional sports can also have long-term side effects for your health. Okay, so uh, this is a little more complicated than <laughs> than I would have imagined because I I know you have thought about it. You do a lot of yeah. running and exercise, right. and I exercise, but not um, not in the in the way that you do. Yeah, so you've, you've run like fifty mile races <laughs> and trained for things. Yes, I I enjoy that in a different way than you. Right, do. exactly. Um, but uh. Yeah, I would never have uh, thought that this was such yeah. a complicated issue. So here, here, let me complicate it and make it personal to you, right? <laughs> okay. So stero right. steroids are a thing that give you an unfair advantage, right? But they okay. do they do work if you if you do them correctly. So you are someone who does not play professional sports, does not even play amateur sports. No. But let's say you could. Get what you wanted. Let's say you'd be the fittest you've ever been. Let's say you have a goal and you're like, you know what? I'm going to be fit. I'm going to do this. Would you, if you didn't, if there were no long-term health benefits, would you consider doing one of these things? Because you're not competing you against no other no long-term health negatives. Negatives. Like, yeah, yeah. Consequences, so nothing, side effects. Um, I don't know. I am a very... um. I was going to say ethical person, but that might not be the right description. Like I like to do the right thing. Yeah, and to yeah. me, the right thing seems like not taking the steroids because, um, yeah, it would give an unfair advantage. I would feel like I had taken help. On the other hand, uh, I mean, sometimes I do take a protein powder, yeah. which is, you know, not a real food. It's real food, but it's, you know, you mix sure. it into a drink or something. Um, and so is that is that cheating to get a lot of your protein in? But who are you cheating? This is the thing. You're not in a competition. Right, right. So there is even in, in um, powerlifting, which is like how heavy of a weight can you lift? There's like two categories. Right. There's like clean and dirty. Really? Yeah. There's like There's like certain competitions that are under this banner that are like, we will do anti-doping testing and right. doping meaning using these various kinds of right. things, not just steroids. And then there's like, everybody's doing it, so how heavy can you lift? Yikes. I feel like, um, and maybe this is a judgment, but I feel like that would be the scary one. Like I, where I might walk in there and be like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you wouldn't, little... you wouldn't use anything uh, I mean, I'm never going to say never, but well, if, I don't think so. I think if you are watching this and you think, here's the question, put in the comments, would you use, not in competition, this is not what we're talking about, to get an advantage. Right, would so your you own use personal life. For your own personal life to say, you know what, I'm going to... Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get fit. It's gonna help me sleep better. It's gonna help me exercise harder. Uh, what would you do? Would you, you know, because we all, you know, would you just wear better clothes? Would you wear better shoes? Um, let us know, because I don't really. No one has come up to me. I've never. I've never tried steroids, or but I know mm -hmm. that in, when I was in high school, people used um, creatine, which was something that is legal to use, but oh. Hmm. I don't know. Different things. Okay. World... Well, this is a real, uh, this is a thornier question than I thought it was. Yeah. To well, be honest. Well, let's move to, for before we end, I really think one of the things that needs to be noted, and it was noted in this program, so if you've listened to it, you'll know this. It's the, uh, it's the fact that this is, um, these are people who are taking a big risk by taking steroids. If they get caught, they often have multiple- You mean athletes. Athletes. So they, like famous athletes, like the people in the program, like uh, the football player and- yep, The um, runner. Uh, yep. The runner. Mm -hmm. So they have huge, they, they could lose their job basically for their whole life or for just a few years, which is basically their whole life. 
uh, as an athlete. But the the reason they do it is that the reward is so yeah. high to get that little competitive edge. Right. But then if you're found out, you lose all that reward. There's such a huge risk to it. Uh, the the example I think of was, wasn't it, uh, and maybe I'm going to get in trouble if this is not right, wasn't it like uh, Lance Armstrong? So one of the, one of the um, consistent winners of all oh, the bicycle race. The Tour de France. Yeah, the Tour de France. Uh, one of the consistent winners, wasn't he found... Uh, doping. Yeah. And I feel like uh, I don't follow many sports. So uh, for me, that felt so shocking, you know, to right. think I w always thought, wow, he is just one of the best cyclists. Right. And well, and he I denied it for a number of years it was like, no, 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 no. Right, right. And then to find out that like, it was all a lie. Yeah, it was all doping. Right. And uh that for me is like that's the biggest example I know of. Um, yeah. But yeah, you lose so much. Well, I also think there is an element of um, let's do it, let's get a lot of money, and then even if we lose yeah. our reputation, then after a few years, we'll still have accumulated sponsorship money, and you might lose those yeah. sponsorships eventually. But your example, Lance Armstrong, still has millions of dollars. Well, yeah, I guess. Maybe other people wouldn't uh, save it as effectively. I don't yeah, know. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> as you want to you you see him destitute. Steroids. You want to see him out on the street doing nothing. Yeah. yeah, as long as you're not taking steroids and spending all of your uh, athlete money. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it is a thorny question. I would be curious to hear what people think about this. Um, if you think... Uh, do you like? Do you know an athlete? Like not personally, but is there an you don't, athlete? Don't have to. Don't you have to tell know. us their name. Right. <laughs> no, I don't mean personally, but like if you know of an athlete who, like, like Lance Armstrong for me, who you thought, oh wow, this is an amazing athlete, and then maybe your opinion was changed a little bit because of, um, you know, finding out they use steroids. I would, you know, yeah, I think let that's us interesting. Know. Well. Uh, this has been a far ranging conversation and yeah. I don't think I'm going to end it by saying, I don't think I would do steroids, but I'm tempted. That's what I'll, I think, I think what's going on <laughs> inside me. I, I, I don't think I would, but I would be and tempted. I've already said I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it, make sure that you check out that, uh, the perks that are available by uh, YouTube membership. Also make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and visit our website, which is spotlightenglish.com. Uh, we have a lot of interesting content there. Uh, and like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell. And until next time, we hope you listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out.